Now we are starting the topic that is modem and we know that the modem is used in the ancient time. Today we are not going to use the modem in our network but yes modem is very much important device and modem is named with the two things MODEM. So first MO stands for the modulator and the second DEM stands for the demodulator. So modem is a device which perform the two functionality. One is the modulation and second one is the demodulation. Modulation means converting digital to analog and demodulation when vice versa. So we can say that the modulator means convert digital signal to analog signal and talking about the demodulator that is the reverse of modulator which convert analog signal to digital that means modem is used for converting the analog signal to digital and digital to analog so that is done with the help of the modem in our earlier topic we have discussed the dte and dce cable where we have seen that dce is the data circuit terminating equipment which is for sending and receiving so we can say that modem is the example of your dce so here we can mention that modem is type of dce and we know that dce stands for data circuit terminating equipment that topic we have already discussed in the earlier lecture dc and dt cable now talking about the modem specification means if you are going to purchase the modem from the market then what are the things you should take care then we will discuss the diagram afterward so first of all we are mentioning the modem specification modem specification Whenever we are going to purchase the modem from the market, there are a few things we have to take care. Just like if we are going to purchase some mobile, there are some features. Similarly, modem is having some their specification. So the first specification is the transmission rate. Transmission rate means at what rate we are going to send the data through the modem. There is a standard definition for transmission rate that we can say that it is bits per second means we can consider the transmission rate into the bits per second bps bits per second a device transmit or receive means a device is there at a suppose computer who is going to take the 10 bits per second transmit or receive so transmission rate is the 10 bits per second in that case and we can say that there are few examples by which we can see the transmission rate like we can say that it is the high speed transmission if we are sending very high bits per second or we can say that it is the low speed if we are sending the normal speed let us suppose two bits per second or so that is the transmission rate by which the modem can be taken then the next thing we are having is the modem speed so we can mention here modem speed means what is the speed of modem or we can say that the modem is going to modulate at which particular thing that means it is the amplitude frequency phase or what so these are the things by which the speed of modem can be decided there are few things just like the first one we are having is the ASK if the modem is going to modulate the amplitude then it is called ASK so amplitude is going to manipulate if the modem is working on FSK then FSK stands for the frequency so modem just manipulate the frequency then the next one we are having is PSK if modem work on the phase or the next one we are having is QAM if we are considering both 
phase and amplitude then this is called qam so the speed of modem depend upon which type of thing they are using just like amplitude frequency phase or both phase and the amplitude so that is ask fsk psk and qam on which modem is working so depending upon your requirement you are going to purchase the modem if you are going to work on the frequency then you will for sure purchase the modem with the fsk then the next one we are having is the bandwidth so talking about the bandwidth well bandwidth is sum of the limit we can say that what is the lower and the upper limit of the frequency a line can carry so that is the standard definition of the bandwidth so here we can say that upper and lower limit of frequency of a signal a line can carry line is the medium so what a medium can carry that is the upper and the lower limit so this is the bandwidth now if i talk about the voice voice means whatever we are speaking and whatever we are talking then for the voice the limit is 300 hertz to 3300 hertz and if i talk about data data means whatever the internet we are using for the data we are having 600 hertz to 3000 hertz so that is the bandwidth uh, modem is having now depending upon the transmission rate modem speed and the bandwidth we are going to purchase the modem so this is the basic about the modem now there is a diagram which is mentioned now we are going to take out that diagram well we are starting the diagram with the computer let us suppose that this is the computer this is my computer let us suppose a and this is your computer which is b so here we are having computer a and computer b let us suppose computer a is my computer and computer b is your computer now computer a or computer b both generate the digital data so here you can see that 0101 which are coming through this computer that is digital and similarly your computer also work on the digital data now my computer is attached with the telephone exchange so this is the telephone exchange in my area and this is the telephone exchange in your area let us suppose we want to talk to each other now we assume that this is the delhi telephone exchange and this is the noida we must know one important thing that these two telephone exchanges are connected to each other through the telephone network so telephone network is going to connect these two exchanges and both work on the digital data means the connection between your exchange and my exchange is purely digital the meaning is that the delhi and noida connectivity is digital your computer is generating digital my computer is generating digital but there is a problem problem arises between the telephone line which is provided to us that is called the local loop this is the problem now we can see that this is the telephone line which is provided to me via telephone line and this is the telephone line provided to you via the telephone company and this is the analog that is the problem so this is the major problem only because of that the modem is into the picture well we have learned that telephone to telephone connectivity is digital your computer and my computer are generating digital data but the telephone line which is coming at your home and at my home these are the analog line that means they can carry the analog signals so now to convert this digital data to analog we are having the modem so modems are applied here similarly at your end the modem is applied which is converting the analog to digital 
now we are going to discuss the transmission how the transmission is going to happen in this particular thing now let us suppose that this is the computer a which want to send the data to computer b first of all the computer a is generating the digital data now that digital data is converted to the analog using the modem this analog data is going to the telephone company and converted back to digital and this digital data is flowing to the telephone company in your area this company is converting back to analog and now your modem is converting to digital and now this data is processed by your system so the converting from digital to analog and analog to digital is only done because of this wire so this wire is coming at your home that is analog and this is wire named as local loop local loop means the wire which is provided by the telephone company at your home we have seen the wire many of the times which is coming at our home today if the wires are the cat5 cable cat3 cable and even the optical fiber cable but few years back this was the wire which are coming at our home so that's why the modems are there into the market and modems are going to convert analog to digital and digital to analog which is called the modulator and demodulator next thing the modem is of two category one is the internal modem and second one is external modem the modem which are inbuilt to our system or computer they are called the internal modem and the modems which are put extra means outside the pc that is called the external modem 